So, lads, thanks for joining me anyway. It's just uh, good to talk to you. I'll, uh, first of all, where do we start? Um, at the start of this year, when the championship was getting underway, did you think you'd be seeing Waterford in the All-Ireland? Well, OK. Yeah, no, we didn't, no. Um, we knew they were good. We knew they were coming. A new bunch of lads, young lads, and keen to to go. So we didn't, no, we didn't expect that we'd be in an All Ireland final. How about you, Oak? I don't even know if that was a question. At the start of the year, did you think you'd be seeing Watford in the All Ireland? No, I couldn't. The gods on us too, the way they were playing. <clears throat> and then they were short, one or two of the of the good players, you know. So I I, I was. Uh, I, I, I couldn't see him at that stage being in the North Ireland final. But sure, things have changed and the Bork is back and he's playing well, very well, at centre half back. So, And our own man is after stepping up to the line, Austin. So I give him a fair chance on Sunday, 50 50. Have he. Have you enjoyed watching this year's championship? Because, like, obviously, it's a very different year to any other year. And, like, you know, playing games with no crowds. Like, as I said at the start, you know, you mightn't have expected Waterford to reach this point. But to see the journey they have gone on, you know, maybe if we don't think about the Munster final and the loss to Limerick, have you enjoyed watching the games this year? God, have I enjoyed it. Boy, I, I, I certainly have. Um, I, I, I think, you know, the, as the wife says, she have to get out of the kitchen, she have to get out of the sitting room when, when, when the match starts. Because the uh, language, I needn't tell you, but, you know, the excitement is just unreal. And those, those fellas, they're the greatest team now. I, they're the best Waterford team I've ever seen. And, you know, they're, they're all equal, they're all equal, they're all fighters, they're all... You know, they're so determined. They're brilliant. They're brilliant. And I love them. I love watching them. And I think it is just with, with Sunday we hope to have that cup. Have you enjoyed watching this team this year? I, I am, yeah. So I have. But the one thing facet of the play that I don't, I, I don't like, and that's when a ball drops down and you, you see ten fillers and they're around the ball and they poke and they're picking and... You know, if, 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 if the ball do the work. Get the ball and de- deliver it to one of your own men someplace. Uh, and and uh, get, 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 you get out of trouble that way. So, uh, I, I, I would say that. I, 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 they're, they're, playing, they're, playing, they're playing well, all right. Uh, and uh, and uh, they seem to be putting it in. With um, Jimmy Barton now back in and, and 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 tried to burn him, playing, playing the top of the forum. If uh, I think we said if if they if they mark up against Limerick and stop Limerick getting the ball in their hand, I I think they'll beat him. If you watch any of the old footage of when you were playing back in '57 '59. Do you miss seeing the amount of ground hurling that was there? Because you see no ground hurling at all anymore, basically. The ball is always in hand or on the stick. And if you watch year games, a huge amount of the game was on the ground. You just, you just don't see it anymore. Like, is that something you miss seeing in the game? Yeah, well, you know, at times I often say, you know, we should play a bit of more of ground hurling. Now, Oak, for instance, was a great ground hurler. And, um, you know, you'd miss that a bit, but they're tall lads now, they're big men, you know, we were small fellas compared to them and, you know, just, just grabbing the ball in the air now, before a ball in the air, you'd be putting, you know, a fella putting up his hand, he was putting it up, uh, you know, just taking a chance, that would be all right, that he'd have it coming back down, but, um, you know, ground hauling, I don't know, is that time, is there home for it now, it's, that it's a different game, it's faster, it's better, you know. No, I, 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 I don't think there is much room for ground hurling now. And 
Oh, then for you. We need one the All Ireland, right? I, I I'm going to say the year because there's no need. But 1959. Yeah. Would you have thought that it would take until 2020, until we're with, you know with a real chance of winning it again? Now I know in 2008 we all probably went in a bit too excited, and 2017 maybe we thought we have a decent chance here. But this time around, I think even though Limerick are favourites. People think we can do it. Did, did you think it would take this long before another All Ireland could be won for Watford? Well, uh, I, looking at things, uh, I suppose at the present moment uh, they have a better panel than they ever had. I mean, there are fellas on the sideline now that are as good as the fellas that are playing on the on the pitch. Yeah. They have to prove that now in the past two matches. Yeah. With Conor Gleeson and, and Young Curran, you know. So I, 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 I think, and uh, I, I, I think uh, all in all, uh, I, 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 I give, I give him a good chance. So I would. And Larry, would you have thought it would take this long? Because, like, I don't doubt there's been times when you would have thought this is our year, and we'll do it now, and then the chance falls away again. Yeah. No, I didn't think it would take so long. I, I, you know, we've had some great teams, some good haulers. Uh, we seem to always have a team which we don't have today. You know, you know, we were just shot at maybe three or four. You know, uh, better players. Uh, you know, so. Today I'm giving them a great chance, but I didn't think, no, I didn't think we'd ta- it would take so long. And uh, I'm hoping, because before we're all gone, uh, that we'll, we'll take it this time. Like, do you ever get tired of people like me coming to ask you questions about something that happened 60 years ago? Because, you know, it has been so long, and you've, you've lived your lives, and this is something that's, that's always been there. And it, it mightn't have been the case if there had been a team in the 70s or the 80s who had won one. Mm. But since you're the last guys to do it, the likes of me and, and others like me come to talk to you on, you know, every couple of years when Watford on a run. Mm. And it's the same question. What does this mean to you? And will it be the time? Is it something you ever get tired of? No, I'd never get tired of it anyway. Um, you know, I'm sure Oak doesn't either. But... Um, Never, no, never get tired of it. I, I, in fact, I love it because I love talking hurling. I, 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 I'm hurling all my life, and you know, and I just, I love watching it, and I never, never, never get tired. And oh, you, do you ever get tired of answering questions about fifty no. nine or? Do you ever get tired? Yeah. No, oh, not at all. <laughs> I I I I I don't I don't know, but, but they should have won a couple of all Ireland since then. When he, I don't know what, what was missing. There was some little thing missing on on on, on the day. So they seem to be gelling together now. And if they play uh, 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 Sunday, and I think it's like the form they played against Kilkenny in the second half hour. I, 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 I think we said that they'd probably beat Limerick. But, but if they give Limerick a good start, it's terribly hard to catch Limerick if you, if you leave them off. If you, if you, if you give them a, a good start, uh, it's, it's hard to peg them back then. But if you get on top of them in the fourth of the match, uh, it could be handy enough. Last question, Ferry, is what have you made of of Cahill, the manager, because a lot of people seem to have really bought into what he's trying to do, not just the players, but the hurling fans seem to really enjoy what he's trying to do with his team. Maybe compared to a couple of years ago where it was a bit more defensive minded and a bit more risk free, you know, go out to try and not lose a game instead of going out to try and win it. Have you enjoyed seeing what he's brought into the team in terms of a work ethic and a passion and a drive for the players? Well, for years I've been saying, you know, the, the, the uh, players are too criticism uh, of, of their manager. 
and um, you know I, I felt that that's what was lacking within him. We've had good managers, and, but the players were up, up against them. And uh, now we have a good manager, a brilliant manager, and I'm glad the players are with him. And uh, the whole lot between players and management now, and, and whatever, they, they, they're brilliant. They're all knitting together, and, and uh, I think Carl is fantastic, he's, and he's done a fair, fair job. And I'd like to say thanks very much to him. The very last question for you, so, and it's a simple one, but maybe it's a, maybe it's a complicated answer. Is this Sunday going to be the day when they finally get over the hurdle again? I, 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 I don't know. Um, I, 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 think, I think they have, they have the players all right to, to, um, to, uh, to, to, to win, the, to win the match. Provided that they 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 hunt in packs, that's the way we used to say it. They hunt in packs, two or three fellas, you know. And if they keep going forward, uh, and, uh, and 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 distribute the ball like they did against Kikani in the second half hour, I I I I I I honestly think that they'd beat Limerick, all right. Larry. So, yeah, we be. Um, we'll be the big men, the strong men. We're we're big men too. We mightn't be as tall as them or as big as them, but we're 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 certainly more determined than them. And they've got an All Ireland. We're 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 waiting for it, and we'll take it this time. Please God. And thanks a million. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. W L O. Imro Local Station of the Year.